Once again, thank you for installing Kinex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to order front frames. So to save time, I've already pre-filled in my material finish global and I've already selected my doors. And now I'm down in the configuration for the front frame. So in here, you want to pick the, the inset or overlay selection. So if you're picking doors in your frames, you want to go ahead and pick one of the overlays. So on our the overlays are dedicated to our cabinet overlays, which are a quarter, half, inch and a quarter, and inch and three eighths. And then we have the inset options, which would be just a regular inset. We have a quarter inch beaded, three eighth beaded, and then we have two special ones, an OG and a V bead. And you can also see that one of the configurations is to remove the doors completely. And in this situation, obviously, if I'm going to, I'm just going to pick doors, and I'm going to go with what most people seem to go with. It's either inset or one of our, our, usually they go with a full overlay inch and, inch and a quarter. Now, we have a few new tools in Connects that we didn't have an order link with the overlays. And once I go into the frame, you'll see some of the new options and I think you're gonna like them. So I'm gonna pick the inch and a quarter overlay and I'm gonna pick my material, frame material. And I'm gonna say that's gonna match the room, which is cherry. Now, if I wanted to, let me just back up here, if I wanted to, I can actually pick a completely different frame material than my doors. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could go with like a, a walnut frame and I could keep my doors cherry. So my doors would follow the same global up here that's selected cherry, but I can actually pick a completely different material for my, my frame by selecting select a, a separate frame material. And if I do that, it's going to allow me to pick a completely different one. Like I said, like walnut would be an example. So I'm going to leave it at cherry and it drops down you see it automatically defaults to finish frame yes go to my thickness i have my three choices three quarter inch thick seven eighths thick or one inch i'll go with three quarter and it asks about grooves now a lot of people who are just ordering frames are just probably going to pick no the um the groove option really is meant for those who want the grooving to match our cabin system so that's the advantage essence grooves I'm going to pick no for this example. And then you'll notice it, it drops down to uh, frame back sanding. It's not a force global, and you don't have to pick none. You can just leave it alone and leave it blank, which is what I usually do. So now what you're going to notice, things are a little bit different in here than order link. In order link, we had a, a little gray box. You popped up, and it showed you a grid of all the frames. And Connects is set up a little bit differently. So you have all your frames over here. You can see over here frame options. And then it says one through eight opening. If I click one opening, it, you see all the templates. And if I click on this one, you'll now see the drawing down here. You see an image of the drawing. And if I scroll down with my arrow key on my keyboard, I can actually go one by one and I can actually see the frames and how they look. Okay. And you can do that with obviously with each of these. So if I wanted to do go to the two opening, I could do the same thing. And if I wanted to, there's even a little button here if I, I can actually blow this up and display in a larger window. And there you go. You, you see a bigger image of the frame. It helps if you're not sure what frame you're looking for by, by going through. Obviously, if you know the frame you're looking for, you don't have to pick from the frames over here. You can actually come over here to the name, and I can start typing in. So if I know I want a uh, the one opening frame, I can type 1001, and it's going to locate it. Okay. Once it loads, you're going to see it's going to open up to the to the frame editor, just like it does in order link today. And if I click the top of this toolbar, it will actually make the screen bigger. There you go. blows it up. And you'll notice every one of these areas are customizable. So you can actually drag and, and make the screen bigger. And I'll just do that so you can see a little bit more of the frame. So now once the frame is is loaded and you see the door, it's it's defaulting to upper door. And you see the door size in here, 20 and a half at 29 and a half, following our normal overlays. So, which is nice. Um, and, I'll, and one thing that's kind of neat is in order link, many times customers would complain because depending on the frame that you pick and the way the overlay is, is sized, it may not meet the needs of what you're looking for. So maybe you need to customize the frame, you know, so that you, you know, so that you, you have a different size door because our overlays don't work with your application. Well, in order link, in order to do that, the only thing you could do is, is change this from an upper door and 
over here, and let me just drag this over so you can see all the text. This type, that's that's what it's referring to. Like this is upper door. And I can actually make this an open, drawer front, lower door, upper door paired. So you can actually I could actually make that a different type of product as far as do I want it to be an upper door, a lower door, a false front, a drawer front, an upper door, or just an open. So if I wanted to remove the door completely, there you go. The door's gone. It's looked open. And let me just add it back in again, and we'll do just a single upper door. So what is kind of neat in, and new in here is that we have this new override option. And what it does is if I click on yes, you'll see that it opens up and all the different overlays as far as how the store is being sized is now displayed and it's all customizable. So, you know, if this door is 20 and a half by 29 and a half, isn't meeting the needs of this particular application and you need to adjust it, you can actually override these. So if I want, if I said, you know what, this door is not going to be flush in the bottom and I want it to be, you know, I want it to have a, a one inch reveal and not an inch and a half. You know, I don't want it to overlay the, the frame uh, inch and a half. I want it to overlay one inch. I click on that and I can change it from one and a half to one. Hit enter. And you'll see that you can see the image. It, it now adjusted the door showing on the frame. And you see the door drop by half an inch. So now instead of 29 and a half, it's now 29 inches. And you can do that in all the frames, which is really nice. So you can make adjustments, um, you know, if you have a three opening frame and only one frame is adjust and only, you know, one opening is adjusting and, and the overlay is adjusting, you can adjust it just for that single opening and make the changes just for that one opening. So that's kind of neat. And it eliminates the need to, to, to remove all the doors from the frames like we had to do in OrderLink and do them all separately. Click OK. And now you see that it pulls in 21 by 30 frame that I had selected. And it puts a little red triangle here. And if I hover over it, it'll show me the, the door that's attached to that frame. And it immediately pulls that door directly into the door section. So if I click on the doors, you'll see that my door is there. Now I still have to put all my door information in. All, all the options have to be put in. So I'm not going to waste my, my I'm not going to waste anybody's time by going through all the different options for this scenario. But you see, you still have to put all your door options in. If I had door fronts, I'd have to do the same thing. So let's just go back to the frame again. So let's just pick a, a different frame. Let's do a, um, a two opening frame, kind of like a base frame. Okay. Shows me a door here, shows me a lower door here. You know, in this situation, because it's so big, uh, if I click on the lower one, I could change that from a lower door to, let's say, lower door pair. So now I'm going to have two butt doors in there instead of instead of one single big door. Um, obviously, the drawer front's fine. And if I wanted to adjust it, I can now obviously change it. So if, I, if this was going to be, let's say, 33, 33 inches, there, it changed it to 33. And let's say the opening for this drawer front, instead of being five, I want it to be six inches now. There we, now we have a six inch opening. It automatically adjusts the openings for the lower as well. And just like in the, um, just like on the other frame we did, if I wanted to, I could click on that drawer opening and I could then change the overlay to yes and I could adjust it if I wanted to or just leave it alone. Okay. And let's change this to 34. Okay, and what's kind of and what's cool is the fact is as you change any of the dimensions, it automatically adjusts and you see it visually. And just like with the doors I'd shown in the previous video, you can actually click the print button and it'll allow you to print that frame out, which is kind of nice, you know, especially if it, if you want to show it to somebody out in the shop. Okay, once I add it, it then pulls it over to the grid, and you see that once just like the the single frame. I now have a little red triangle and it shows me my drawer front and my door, and it's automatically populating in the door section as well as the drawer front section. And you'll always see in the description what that door is attached to. So you can see it's that frame with that opening, the same thing down here with the other one. If I go to my drawer fronts, 
you'll then see the same thing. It's showing you that it's going to that CF0202 frame and it's opening R and shows you the size, which is really nice. So let's say you don't want to have an overlay and let's say you want to have an inset. So let's, um, you know, let's change things up a little bit. So if I come back here and let's get, instead of being a quarter, inch and quarter overlay, let's say I'm doing a, an inset quarter beaded frame. So let me make that change to global level. And now what it's going to do is going to go through and do all the recalculations in here. So once I did that, I have a quarter inch beaded frame. And now let me open up this single frame. And since we had an override in there, it kind of screwed things up. So what I want to do is I want to re-click on here. And let's remove that option. And let's just go with OK. And now it's going to resize it. So that's important to know. You know, if you start off with an overlay and you've done a custom overlay, the overlay holds. Now, obviously, that would be invalid with an inset bead and you would get error messages. But it, it's critical to know once you make that change from, you know, overlay to inset, and because you, you hard-coded an overlay option in there, it held. So it held for that frame. Now, if I, like I said, if I go back into it now, you'll see that it's now being sized properly for the inset application. It has all the proper defaults in there. Okay. And if I open up this one, you also see that it's being sized in inset like it needs to be. Now, let's say this opening here, I wanted to be, let's say I wanted no doors in that one. So I can change that to no doors, change it to open. And let's say I didn't want to beat in that opening. If I click that opening again, you'll see that we have an option now that says do not beat. If I click on that, now what's going to happen is it's going to add an opening S, do not bead, just below the frame. Okay. So now take a look. You'll see that my CF02002, I have an option that says do not bead, and it's opening S. And, I, and instead of having my doors in there, remove the doors, and now I just have the single drawer front. So you can see that the two doors that were there that showed that I had three doors, now I only have one. And I only have one drawer front. Okay. That is basically how to order front frames. And if you have any questions, obviously reach out to customer service. Contact myself at cgets at If you have any further questions. And we can help you out. Thank you.